All the good assignments, and that is usually true for our Kristen Cornette. Today, she gets to hang out where the sea lions are going through spring training at the St. Louis Zoo to show us how the teams there are getting ready for your next visit. Hey, Kristen. Paige, you're not wrong. I'm feeling very, very lucky today. So I'm out here at spring training, and these special spring training shows actually start this weekend. They start on Sunday. So I'm going to bring in Kyle Ulmer. He is in charge of the sea lions. Kyle, tell me why this spring training is important for these animals. Uh, it's actually very important. We do training with the animals all year round out here on the stage, but kind of the difference is we, we have no audience, so there's no guests here to watch us do that. So what we use our spring training for is to kind of get the animals all tuned up again, get them used to seeing an audience, coming out the stage, uh, hearing all of the, uh, the sounds with the music and everything. So it actually serves a, a really, really um, important purpose for us here at Sea Lion Sound to get the animals ready to go for the new season. And they, they do work on um, different behaviors. We're, we're always constantly training new behaviors, so that is very important. Okay, let's talk about some of these behaviors. Now, this is Robbie. He's a big boy, 600 pounds, I think I heard. Yep, very agile. Yes, he's very agile. He's showing <laughs> off his front flipper stand there. So sometimes, like, you know, like people sometimes during the winter, we might, uh, you know, not be as active and move around as much. Even though we do train with the animals all the time, we have to keep them in shape. That's one of the things that training does. It helps to keep, uh, give the animals physical exercise. It keeps them mentally stimulated. Uh, physically fit is a huge part of that. That's Rob showing off his frisbee tosses there. What are some of the other things that he can do? Um, let's see, we can show off here, uh, get him to show off his cardio. Katie will have him go up the high dive and do a nice jump off over here. He'll go up those steps off to the side and dive off into the deep end of the pool here. You'll see he's a very agile animals on land as he makes his way up there. So he's going to jump. He is going to dive off, yes. All 650 pounds. All right, Robbie, let's see it. Not a splash hardly at all. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's good at that, being an aquatic mammal like that. So we do use these shows, like I said, to get the animals ready. Uh, also helps us, the trainers, get ready because, you know, we have to get in what we call show shape, being able to walk around and talk and be around these animals again and present them in a way. Rob's showing off his ball balancing skills. Can here. we get Rob to come over here? Sure, we can have him come up a little closer. Katie will switch gears and bring him right up here front and center. Also new this year, uh, we do have two new animals we'll be introducing. Kit and Nova are two year and a half old female California sea lions that will be making their debut uh, sometime this summer here in our show. But Rob is definitely the star, as you can see, up here nice and close to everybody. Hi, well, buddy. I heard Robbie has a little crush on me and, and might give me a kiss. So let's see if this works. Robbie, what do you think? Can I, can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Oh, there it is. Thank you, Robbie. <laughs> By the way, again, the show starts Sunday. Daily showings from at 1 and 3 p.m. through March 27th. Live from the St. Louis Zoo, Kristen Cornett, News 4. Oh, that look at that smile. That was adorable. Oh, I love him. Kristen, you're so lucky. That was cute. Thank you so much for that preview. Very, very fun. Okay, we have to move on here. We are just a couple minutes away now from the top of the hour. So, Corey Stark joins us again for a look at what's coming up on News 4 at 5. Yeah, Paige, when we see you at 5, new developments in just the last few minutes regarding a mother and her three children found slumped over in their car. The case has taken a new turn for St. Louis police. We'll tell you about that. Those high gas prices are sucking wallets dry. At five, could a gas tax holiday from lawmakers help? For us in the bi-state, some plans are now getting in the fast lane. And if you do have to go to the gas pump, at least go somewhere that's got the wow factor. We're taking you down I-44 to the new cool spot to fuel up the car and your belly. Paige, our drive to Wally's World is just a few minutes away, so we'll see you then. All right, Corey, we'll see you then. Well, coming up tonight, the CBS hit drama Blue Bloods will celebrate its 250th episode. Besides being a police crime drama, some of the tension and fun focus each week on the Reagan family dinner. The cast shared some thoughts on why this resonates with viewers. Audiences don't like repetition, they, but they love rituals. A lot of times their families don't do that anymore or they wish their families would do that and it makes you feel like you're a part of the Reagan family when you're watching it. To be here for 250 episodes, it's really beyond. It's never too late to join the family. 
Don't miss the 250th episode of Blue Bloods tonight right here on Channel 4 at 9. Then stick around for News 4 at 10. And still ahead in this all-new hour-long News 4 at 4, your contributions to a great show. We're checking out viewer pictures next.